Rotato can also export videos. So that's what all the templates are for, basically. Um, let's actually go out and take a look at all the templates. So I'll just collapse this one. The template gallery is a gallery of all the devices and uh, animations that we have. And as you may have noticed, all of them are on white background. So if you haven't, go back and watch the um, tutorial on how to customize your scene, change the background, change the format, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, etc. All these templates support all of that. So let's filter down to Apple and filter down to phone and we can see all the different phones that we have uh, on display. Uh, we can look at laptops instead and that's what we have here. Let's go back to phone for a bit and choose one. Let's do the tilt it out zoom, tilt it zoom out. So now I have this, I can easily preview the video like this. Um, and then, you know, it's time to add stuff to the screen. Let's try that. So we have this lock screen here. Let me quickly choose a theme, maybe something like this here. And to get your video, all you have to do is click the video button and it'll render and you get your full size video you download it and there it is make it smaller so you can see it this is your video smooth 60 frames per second real 3d um, but video is video so we should be able to use a uh let's see here uh, a video on the screen so we can do that too and that's what this looks like now it's starting to get interesting but there's one problem here which is the animation is shorter than the video so let's have a look at the video that I'm using okay so it's this one here and it is 29 seconds long now the template is only four seconds long so I can change it here let's just say actually I'll change it to I just want the first 10 seconds because that's what I am shooting for uh, in my final design so when we render the video now it will prepare the video extracting all the frames and then it'll render frame by frame. You can see it's a little bit slower in rendering when there's video because it actually grabs each frame in the video and carefully places them on the device. This makes sure that nothing is ever janky, no frames are skipped. It is smooth as 60 frames per second butter. And that's what we see here. With the video, 